Hi everybody, so I picked up this beautiful Skeleta inbox from this local Denver store called Mile High Comics and they have an incredible selection. I will add in some clips for my Instagram story. Um, I need that. This is literally the coolest store ever. I am so tempted to get that fan. Please. I really want that Alice. I've seen her. There's a Skeleta in box and Raven. But I was so excited about this. This is only my second time seeing a Monster High doll original in box, like second hand. So I was so excited. So my plan for today is to redo these Monster High shelves and everything up here because I have some inbox things up there that I think are going to get rotated because not only did I have Skeleta inbox but I have the Creep Production Abby as well who I'm super excited about and she's my third Creep Production because I have Spectra and Frankie but yeah so we're going to redo all this I'm going to start I think by taking everyone off the top and then we're gonna redo that, and then I will move on to the bottom. So yeah, stay tuned. And I did wanna share as well, the price of Skeleta was $80, which we know is overpriced for a doll, but for a doll that's 10 years old, and relative to the prices that she is in box on eBay and Mercari, I was very content with that. And fun fact about my Skeleta is she's naked. <laughs> I don't have her stuff. So this is super fun to have one that's naked because I really like the skeleton body and then one that's in box. Okay, so we finished those. And so I did add Honey in here who wasn't up there before because I was able to fit one more character. But yeah, so Abby and Skeleta are back there and you can't really see them, but it's okay, I know they're there, so, and they are on display to me. And then we put the two Bratz babies I have, and then my little people sets. And these were the girls that didn't, that got replaced. So this is just Poppy, cheerleading Poppy, and then, and then this one is my graduation party. And I'm not gonna get rid of these, they're just gonna get moved somewhere else, so I'm not sure where yet. But yeah, now I'm gonna do these two shelves, so yeah. I'm like cracking up editing this. Party time in the doll room. I have no idea why my camera is making it look like my lights are glitching, but it's really funny. Party time. Okay, so I actually cut it short because they look pretty good, at least these two shelves. So the only changes I made is I brought Dawn of the Dance Frankie to the front along with Dawn of the Dance Laguna because I literally got her two days ago. And sadly, I was having some like issues on Instagram and I had her reel already and then it was scheduled and it just got deleted because Instagram crashed. But yeah, anyways though, she's here, she's great, she's adorable. And then just, yeah, kind of rearranging Comic Frankie and stuff, and then this didn't get touched. But in the future, I don't like Claude here. I'd love for him to be with Forbidden Love Jack, but I wanted Shriek Wreck Rochelle to have a very cute place in the front. But yeah, besides that, I love this up here, and 
once again, there's Abby and Skeleta in the box. And this was super fun, kind of short video. And I hope that you all can check out some like antique malls near you or just consignment shops that might have dolls or comic book stores. Just always go give them a chance because you never know if they're gonna have a gem. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all later.